<laughs> Behind me you can see all these dirty dishes and what's over here is the makings of something delicious because it is Saturday night guys We are gonna have an awesome movie an awesome snack stay tuned because in just a minute We're gonna make something awesome, and then it's gonna be awesome. and We're gonna have an awesome night guys what you are looking at right now is the makings of our awesome snack for tonight but let's back up a few days here i started out filming for this show looking for a movie that wasn't quite family oriented and i knew that but i still went after it because i love it it's hilarious and i didn't end up getting it but let me show you the footage of looking for it anyways because who doesn't love going to family video all right guys holy crap it is raining it's not too cold it's actually kind of warm but we are back at the family video here in maslin ohio this is the one that has the marco's pizza right there and it also has the giant obelisk right there that i don't know if it lights up or not but we are going to go inside and see if we can find a good movie <sighs> let's do this and i'm looking for something specific today a lot of times I am already before I even go in and start looking around, but I always love to just look around and see what else I can find in anyways. And holy crap, look at this. Text JOIN to 66822 and get a free popcorn and a free movie. Totally awesome. Thank you, Family Video. Always got to look at these before I start looking at the movies. And look, I still have not seen this one, Four Kids and It. I may give that a chance today. Um, whoa, what the heck is this? The Outsider. Look at that. That looks creepy. Resistance with Jesse Eisenberg. I think that's his name. That looks pretty cool. Hmm. Not even interested in seeing Scoob, mainly because they took Matthew Lillard away from doing the voice of Shaggy. That sucks. And Capone, I mean, I'm not into that one either at all. It doesn't even look appealing. Guys, I can't even remember what the heck it is I'm looking for. Um, but I do see this. It's not in, but Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. I think, oh, this is the weirdest one of all of them. Look at these movies here, guys. Robert. Robert and the Toy Maker, Revenge of Robert, Robert Reborn. That's five Robert movies I'm aware of right now. I've never even seen one of them. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I cannot believe they have all the Sharknado movies. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Sharknado, Sharknado the second one, Sharknado 3, oh hell no, and Sharknado 4, The Fourth Awakens. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Look, I don't even think I've ever heard of this. John Travolta in I Am Wrath. But, I don't know, there's something I don't like about John Travolta and I can't quite pinpoint it. Maybe it's the whole Scientology thing. That's a pretty big turnoff. <laughs> A Hologram for the King? I've never heard of this one either. Tom Hanks? What in the world? That's what I love about coming to the video stores, guys. Just, you get to see all kinds of stuff you've never even heard of. What in the world is this? Him. From the studios that brought you All Hallows Eve and Mischief Night. Well, that is pretty creepy, man. Dang. Oh, look at this. They have The Hobbit. First, it's only $2.99 on Blu-ray. That's 3D. But it also comes with a 2D version. I'm definitely buying that. Oh, look. They have Sully, too. Buying that one? <laughs> Uh-oh. Here we go. Okay, look. They have The Maze Runner. They have The Maze Runner Scorch Trials. And they also have The Maze Runner Death Cure. All three of the Maze Runner movies, but the problem is they suck. The first one is the best, but the story is so stupid. I mean, uh, the concept is good, but the storyline is horrible. It's just, it, it's just a bad movie. I've tried my best to like it, and it's just not good. Wait, look at this. Are you kidding me? It on 4K for $3, guys. 
Holy crap! Uh, looks like most of them on this side are regular DVD, which is still cool. American Ultra. This one was pretty good. I, I don't think I like it enough to buy it. I, I wanted it to be better than it actually was. But it was pretty decent. Ah, oh, Can't Buy Me Love. I love this one, actually. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting it. Okay, The Kid Who Would Be King. I really had high hopes for this one, too. But, um, I made it about half an hour into it, and I didn't like it at all. We got Alien Covenant on 4K. I didn't really care for this one either. My friend Mark really liked it. Um, but I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna get it. They got a bunch of Harry Potter Blu-rays, but I actually just bought the entire set of Harry Potter movies on uh, DVD from Amazon. Or, I mean, not DVD, uh, Blu-ray. Maybe even 4K, I don't remember. Glee. I think that's what they actually have playing up here on the TVs right now. I keep hearing them singing songs and stuff. Okay, let's get back to looking for the movie that I was here to get. Uh, I gotta find the eyes. ABC. Wait, no, it's not that. We already looked at that one. You never know where these things are gonna be. I mean, okay, here's family fun. And, I mean, there's obviously a lot of awesome family fun in here <laughs> but like i don't know if you'd call what i'm looking for a family movie or not which kind of made me hesitate doing it actually because i like to keep these uh pretty family friendly but um it's an awesome movie so let's just see wait a minute look at this the dog who saved halloween thank you little pupster friend a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Wait a minute. Holy crap. Here's Hocus Pocus. I think I actually just ordered that one on 4K, too. <laughs> All right. I don't see it here. However, a lot of times I do find what I'm looking for over here under the must-see movies. Okay, so please, come on. I know they have it at the other one, but I don't know if they have it here. And I don't know if these are in... I guess these are in alphabetical order. Let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and they don't have it. Crap. But they do have Son of Bigfoot. Oh, it's not in. I think I've looked at this so many times when I come in here and I'm filming, and I have not seen it yet, but I want to. Well, they didn't have the movie that I wanted to rent, but I did get five of them that I bought. That was pretty cheap, even with my $2 late fee that I that I owed. It was still a total of $11, so. All right, let's hot foot it over to the other one. Do you remember last week I was talking about Video Time Video? This Levin mattress store right here used to be one of the Video Time videos that I would frequent. Then it turned into what you see up on the sign here, Anytime Fitness, which is actually now clear back there somewhere <laughs> in that shopping center. But yep, I used to go there to rent videos. We are here at the other family video, and I can see through the windows that they've been moving some stuff around. Oh my gosh, do you know how hard it is right now not to go get that party pizza from Kraus? Kraus is the greatest pizza in the world. They have these little pepperonis that, um, that like curl up into bowls of hot grease. <laughs> Anyways, I can see in here where they got video games right on this side over here, which is strange. So let's go see if we can find another video. In fact, I know they have it unless somebody else snatched it up or something. In fact, I think if I remember correctly, it's right over here somewhere. Those are ours. Let's go over here. Um, These are T's. Oh, duh, like an idiot. I just got done saying they moved everything. And here I am looking for it. Look! Trick or treat. Holy crap. Guys, I'm going to tell you something. I've never seen this movie. Oh my gosh, you got to be kidding me. Look, wait. Tremors. All right, Tremors, A Cold Day in Hell, and Tremors 5, and both of them have Jamie Kennedy. I never knew he was in these movies. I wonder how many Tremors movies he's in. I love Jamie Kennedy. I'm going to have to have a, uh, a Tremors marathon one of these nights. Oh, you have got to be kidding me, guys. <sighs> I am so disappointed right now. They have it, and it is not in. Oh, 
why oh why here it is idiocracy with luke wilson and it is not in oh my gosh what the heck man i just got that for a dollar at the dollar tree well i'm gonna ask up here maybe somebody returned it hopefully and if not i'm probably gonna have to go find somewhere to buy it but that's good because i want it anyway in fact i think i may have a digital copy on one of my laptops i don't know Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hands of Stone with Usher? What the heck? Robert De Niro is in that? I never even heard of that. But again, guys, I say this a billion times every time I'm out here filming at this place. This is why I love the video stores. You get to see all kinds of stuff you never even knew existed. So the hunt continues. I even called Alliance because the last time I was down there, Family Video was still open. And it's closed now. So, um, I don't know. I, I guess I'm going to have to go over here to maybe the exchange or something. See if I can find it there. So we got it. Here it is. Idiocracy. I like the other cover better. It's a yellow cover. It looks like a, uh, I don't know, some, like some kind of a warning label or something. But awesome movie no matter what. So. so, guys, I just got that movie brand new for seven bucks over here at the exchange. And uh, online, on eBay, I would have to pay 16 I think it was. And on Amazon, it was like 23 I love it enough to own it. I looked on my laptop, and I did not have it on there. So um, I just went ahead and bought it. They had a used copy and a brand new copy. And the funny thing is, I could have bought br both of them and sold one and made my money back and basically got it free. <laughs> So as you can see in the footage, I did not find it at Family Video. I did have to go down the street and buy it from the exchange. And then just at the last minute, guys, it just didn't seem right. It's just not a family-oriented movie. I watched it last night just to see how unfamily-oriented it is. And it's pretty bad. So we're not doing that movie tonight. But that brings us to now. And now we are going to make our awesome snack. And then we are going to choose a movie from the movies I already have and love. I know they're good movies. I know they're family oriented. So that's what it's going to be tonight, guys. I just, I, I just can't tell you to watch a movie that is not good for you and your kids to watch. I got all this stuff out here. This is everything I need to make a super colossal taco pizza. I have been hungry for taco pizza for so long. So we're going to do that. And then we're just going to go through the movies that I have here at the house and, uh, and pick out a couple for tonight to watch. I really wish I could find a way, like a platform, that I could share the movies with you guys. That we could actually sit down and say, hey, this movie's going to start at 8 o'clock, be there. And then um, whatever time you get in, the movie is like we're watching it together in real time. I wish I could find that kind of a platform. I found a couple that are like it, but they really, really limit the amount of people that you can watch with. Like, I found one last week, and I think the limit was like nine people or something. So, it just wouldn't work. You know, we have to find somewhere that can accommodate, like, you know, two, three thousand people at once. So, anyways, until I find that, we have to do it this way. So, yeah, we're going to make this super colossal, delicious taco pizza. I think I've made a video before making taco pizza, but never in the Saturday Night Show. Now, if you make one of these yourself, you're obviously going to want to use your own kind of uh, crust. But for me, you know, I'm trying to keep it low carb, so I'm going to make the keto crust, which is going to be mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese, and a couple of eggs here. Just mix all those together, and then we're going to make the crust out of that. The ingredients for the actual pizza. What we're going to do is just use everything that you would use if you were going to make tacos. So we have some hamburger here that I thawed. We have some taco seasoning mix. I usually use the kind that I mix up myself, but I don't have any left. So we're going to use this. It's just great value. I think it's like 40 cents for a packet or something. We have Ortega taco sauce, shredded lettuce, Fiesta blend cheese. I got a tomato to dice up, a onion to dice up, some black sliced olives, and I have some jalapenos in here. Mm, oh my gosh, I can taste them already. Then, of course, to drink, I have a giant Gatorade Zero. That's pretty good. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I can't think of what it is. If there's anything else that you guys use when you make tacos or taco pizza or whatever, let me know. You know, something, maybe I can try something different. I actually thought about putting on some, uh, 
some bacon bits as well. Because if you guys remember a while back at Taco Bell, they came out with a taco that had bacon on it. And it was delicious, but I think they also had like chipotle sauce or something on it. But that's a different story. That's another snack, another night. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this stuff. I really need to resurface this pan here. <laughs> but for the moment, we're going to use it as is. Get our hamburger in there. And just start chopping that up and brown it like you would brown any kind of hamburger. All right, there's that cooking up. And then when we're ready, we'll put the taco seasoning mix in. You can do this a couple ways. With the onion, you can dice this up and you can put it in and cook it with the hamburger. But I kind of like it to be crunchy on my taco pizza. So I'm going to dice it up. I'm going to set it on the side and I'll put it on with the rest of our toppings. And I'm going to use this pizza pan that I actually got from a uh, pizza shop that closed down here in Canton. Probably, man, I don't know, maybe three years ago now. I absolutely love this pan. I had like five of them and I got rid of the others. But that one right there has actually otherwise been hanging right there <laughs> on my office wall as part of my retail collectibles. We use a little bit of uh, tin foil here, just so nothing sticks in the pan. And then we're also going to use some parchment paper. I'm going to cut that to fit in the pan. I just used a pair of scissors there to cut that to fit in there. I left a little lip in case I need something to pull it on, to pull on, because <laughs> it sometimes sticks to the bottom of the pizza. Doing it like this, you can just grab each side of the tin foil and lift it out and set it aside, and there's your pizza. It's not sticking to the pan or anything. All right, I think our hamburger's ready. Okay, I drained that. We're going to put in just a little bit of water and our seasoning and mix that up. So I think the packaging actually calls for like a cup of water. Um, I don't put that much in. I did put a little bit more in than I just showed you. As you can see right there, the thing is the less water you put in, the stronger that taste is. And, you know, I've done this so many times that I just kind of go by how it looks. And it was a little bit too dark, so I put in a little bit more water. That can simmer down a little bit. I turned the flame down and it'll be perfect when it's done. Meanwhile, let's turn our oven on to 350. Then we're going to use our super colossal red bowl here, a couple of eggs, some parmesan, grated parmesan, and some shredded mozzarella, a little bit more. We'll get that mixed up and that's what's going to make our crust. Like I said, you're probably going to want to use your own crust uh, recipe. You know, you can get like Martha White or Chef Boyardee or whatever if you're eating bread. But me, I'm not eating bread so I have to make my own pizza crust. And this will work just fine. I could probably even put a little bit of uh, coconut flour in here or almond flour and it would be good. But it's not really all that necessary. All right, I think this stuff is just about done. That's just about perfect. Put that on the back burner and move on to our crust. Okay. Here's how our crust looks when it's patted out in there before we stick it in the oven. Now this is the time when you can add other things if you want, like you can sprinkle some uh, garlic powder on there or some Italian seasonings if you want to. I don't think I really want to though, this isn't Italian, it's taco, 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 taco. So yeah, this is going to go in there for about 10-15 minutes. And then we'll get this stuff prepared. We just have to open that. We have to slice this, open those when we're ready. And then we have to slice up the tomato. Okay, that is all prepared. And it's time to check this out. Yep, that's right. That's It's all bubbled up. <laughs> and when you're making this kind of crust, that is what it's supposed to look like. Because that is all cheese in there. So the cheese is just bubbling up. And then it goes down. You know, once, the, once you pull it out and the air bubbles all pop, then it goes down. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put taco sauce on the uh, the crust. And I accidentally bought hot taco sauce, which I like. I mean, as you saw, I have jalapenos over there anyways. 
But we're going to use this just as you would use your regular pizza sauce. Not a whole ton, but enough to cover it. I probably actually put too much. <laughs> but it'll kind of bake up a little bit and it'll be good, so. Next goes our meat. Push that around on there and get it evened out. I kind of feel like watching E.T. tonight, guys. I don't know why. I mean, they don't. They definitely don't have taco pizza in E.T. So I don't know why I would think of that. But E.T. definitely sounds like a good movie to watch tonight. Okay, next we're going to go with some onions. And this is a whole onion, guys. I'm using a whole onion on this. Black olives. I used to like black olives more than I do now. They're still pretty tasty, though, when it comes to taco stuff. Here's how it looks so far with all that stuff on it. Now, the, uh, the jalapenos and the tomatoes and the lettuce we're going to save until it has been cooked. We'll put that stuff on top. Um, however, now we need to put the cheese on. And I love cheese, so... There's a lot of it going on. And this will go back in the oven for about 10 minutes. Oh, it's going to be so good, guys. All right, put the rest of the cheese away here, and we will pick a movie. I bought a bunch of them from uh, the Dollar Tree the other day again. Yeah, all right, so look, we got Mad Max. We got... Ace Ventura collection. I could have an Ace Ventura double feature. Pet Detective and When Nature Calls. Both of them are hilarious, but they're so cheesy. Oh, When Nature Calls is the one where he's like, kind of hot in these rhinos. If I stay, but I think this is kind of a sad movie, and I do not want to watch a sad movie right now. Uh, these are scary movies. I was considering Jeepers Creepers, but, you know, not really a uh, kid's movie. Here we go. Harry Potter Marathon, the complete eight film collection on Blu-ray. That would be awesome. I got The Hobbit. However, it was supposed to come with the 2D version too, and it only came with the 3D version, so we're not watching that one. You know what? Yeah, I need something funny, so I think it's going to be Ace Ventura. Yeah, I think that'll be perfect. Uh, Ace Ventura, I need something to make me laugh and keep my spirits up. As you can see, my house, it's just it's a disaster right now because, uh, you know, I've been downsizing. If you watch the video on the other channel about uh, preparing to move into the RV, that's what it is, guys. Totally crazy right now. So, all right, I'm going to give this a few minutes for our pizza get done. Pizza to get done if I can talk here. <laughs> and uh, then we'll give it a little taste test. We're going to put some shredded lettuce Probably some jalapenos on there, some tomatoes. I don't know if I have any sour cream or not, but I'll see what else I have. It's going to be delicious. Okay, I think this thing's about done. Yeah, look at that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, I can't wait to sink my teeth into that. Let that cool down just for a minute. Mm, smells so good. Yes, look at that, guys. Mm, mm, mm. Smells so good. All right, let's put some other stuff on it here. Okay, some tomatoes. Mm, look at that. Oh, that is going to be so good. Look at that big chunk of tomato right there. <laughs> some jalapenos. Oh, yes. It's going to be so good. Look at that. And, of course, some lettuce. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. There you go. All right, guys, yes, I don't have any sour cream, but look at that. Look how amazing that looks. Holy crap, that's going to be so good. Okay, I put a little more sauce on there. Let's get a bite with some tomato, some lettuce, and a jalapeno. Mm-mm-mm. 
lettuce is kind of hard to get. I should have got like the, the big leaf lettuce. There we go. Oh yeah, okay. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is delicious. That is exactly what I needed. Delicious taco pizza. Onions, lettuce, jalapenos, tomatoes, taco sauce, taco beef. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. I am going to watch the double feature of Ace Ventura. That is hot up in my nose right now. Holy crap. All right. <laughs> I don't know what I did with my drink either. Double feature, Ace Ventura, taco pizza, mm, burning meat. I'll see you guys next Saturday. Peace.